In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up some cool monochrome design effects that are set up as transparencies against our garments, and also using this as a technique to upsell our designs and also dress them up, give them more pop, make them look better. Here on the right, I've got just a basic logo or emblem. Here on the left is one that I've dressed up with some monochrome design effects. The great part about these effects is that they are monochrome bitmaps, and monochrome bitmaps are a little bit different than your other bitmaps in CorelDRAW, and I'll go ahead and just duplicate this here and we'll take a look at that. I can actually take this monochrome bitmap, or actually these monochrome bitmaps, and I can right click to change their color, so I can make them whatever color I want, and they'll also color separate as spot colors once they're set up as monochrome bitmaps with the correct transparency. So they make very good tools for design assets because if I change the color of the t-shirt, I'll still have that effect showing up in the design, which allows me to present different looks and different colors to clients also very easily, still working with the same effect or the same design. I'll hit Control Z here and we'll go back. So what we want to do is we want to take a look at how we can set up these types of design effects very easily and very quickly working in Corel Draw. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just lasso this garment here and I'll go ahead and duplicate this. Left click, right click, one time hold down, that'll duplicate that. And I'll go ahead and move this over here. And to get started here, what I'll do is I'll start with the, I want to go ahead and click off and make sure I've got this selected here. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup this. Click off and select just the black that's the background of the emblem. I'll hit Control Z. I'm going to start putting together some effects for this. So I'll start with the interactive contour tool. Zoom in a little bit here, pushing forward with my mouse, mouse button. And we'll left click, hold down, and bring this up to say right about there. And that's a little bit too much. I want to come down to say right about here. That'll be good. Go ahead here and I'll right click on that and select break contour group apart. We'll go ahead and select that. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and then I'm going to go ahead and fill that with black. I'm going to go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, 300 dpi, very important, transparent background. If we want correct monochrome conversions, we're going to have to maintain our transparency. I'll select OK. I'm going to go to bitmaps, I'll come down here to blur, and then I'm going to go to Gaussian blur. I'm going to bring that out to say about 40, maybe even a little bit more, and select OK. Now with that still selected, I'm going to go to bitmaps and I'm going to come down here to color transform. But before I do that, I actually want to go to a grayscale. So I'll come over here to the mode and I'll go to grayscale. And now I'm going to come down to bitmap, color transform, and then I'll go to halftone. And this is set up as a max dot radius and change that to nine. That looks good. And we'll have that selected and we'll go with that. Then I'll go ahead and paste that vector back in. With that vector selected, I'll hold down shift and select also that monochrome bitmap that I'm setting up here as the halftones coming off that effect. I'll come up here and click on front minus back. And you can see now we've got a border around that emblem with the halftone effect built into it. Now I can take this and I can go bitmap mode black and white. This will all be black, but that's okay. Select okay. And I can come up here and left click to make the background transparent and right click to change the foreground color and I can make that any color I want to in my graphic or in my design as you can see here if I wanted to put a yellow there I could do that and make that pop of the yellow. I'll go ahead and go with the black there for now. So now I've built out that cool halftone effect around the emblem and we can see our design is already starting to pop compared to the original because of some of the design elements that we're adding to it. The next thing I want to do is add some flames going up around the side here. Kind of set it up with a kind of flame effect that's going to have some depth to it. I'm going to do that by going to my artistic media tool over here. And I'm going to go to my folders. I'm going to go to my brush pack 2. I'm going to go to flames. And then I'm going to come down here to style flames black and white. Select OK. I'm going to come up here and come down and select... Actually, I think I'll work with this flame, which is the same one I had before. Now, see, I got something selected there, so it's going to process it on that. I shouldn't have had anything selected there because it'll apply the brush to anything I have selected. I'm going to go ahead and we'll just start here 
by holding down here off one corner, left click, hold down, and just make a stroke and form that flame around the outside design. Now I can change the size of this if I want up here in the properties bar, but I'll be pretty happy with that. I think that'll be okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is do some editing. Now there's complete training for working with brushes on the advancedtshirts.com website, but I wanna bring this down here, smooth things out, and I can go ahead and move these nodes around and really tweak in or shape this the way I want it shaped around the actual logo or emblem. And I can see I've got a note here, I really don't need that, I can go ahead and delete that. And that'll be good for now. Now with that selected, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the vector area here and select Break Artistic Media Group Apart. Go ahead and click off and I'm gonna click on that line. That's the line I actually drew when I formed the brush or formed the vector to my design. Next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and take this, I'm gonna copy this also. I'm gonna to go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap here, same as before. I'm gonna to go to bitmaps and blur again, Gaussian blur. This time I'm not gonna go 47, I'll probably go something like around seven or eight or nine and select okay. Now this is also set up with nice transparency. So I can take this and go bitmap, mode, black and white, select okay, go ahead and left click in the X to make the background color transparent and I can right click to change it to any color I want. And I can go ahead and take my black brush that was vector here, or this flame that was vector, paste that back in. Now with this paste it back in, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna fill this with a white. I'm gonna give that a black outline just so that I can see that. I'm gonna go back to my contour tool and I'm gonna start creating a contour against the inside here, leaving some space to work with. Something like that right there. Go back to my pick tool, I'll right click here, break, contour group apart. I'll go ahead and select this vector that I just created with the contour. Go ahead and fill that with a black. I'll take the outline off of that with a right click. I'll go ahead and copy that also. Go here and go bitmaps, convert to bitmap, RGB, transparent background, bitmaps. I'm gonna go blur, Gaussian blur. We'll take a look at that. I might bring that down a little bit more something like about six there and select okay. Same thing here, bitmap, mode, and I'm gonna to go to black and white, select okay, left click to knock out the background color. Go ahead and change the foreground color to a white for now. And I'll go ahead and paste my vector object back in. Now with that, paste it in, I'm gonna select that and that monochrome bitmap I just made. So I'll click here, I'll go ahead here to this X, left click, hold down, move these, make sure I've got them both selected, I do. Go ahead and take this and I'll come up here and click on back minus front. And I'll change that to a black and I can see that effect in there. Go ahead and cut that and then I'm gonna do the same thing here. Select the vector for the flame and then the monochrome bitmap. Come up here and click on back minus front. Go ahead and change that to a black. Go ahead and paste the other one in. And you can see the effect that I have here now. And I got the wrong object here. I wanna get the monochrome bitmap. Then I can move this a little bit and offset it kind of something like that there. Go ahead and select these two monochrome bitmaps. And I wanna make sure I get both these, hold down shift and alt. And let's see if that's what I got, that's not what I got. I wanna come down here. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here so that I get these two. That's one, and we'll hold shift here, that's two. I've got both of those. Go ahead and group those. Now if I wanna make that effect a little bit stronger, I can take that and copy that and paste that in. You can see that makes it a little bit darker, a little bit stronger. I can hold down my Shift and Alt here and select both of these again. Go ahead and group these just so that I've got them. Then I can reposition them here off to the side. Maybe I don't want them so mixed in with the halftone. Go ahead and take this and I'll just left click, start moving, hold down Control, right click one time, move this over here to the left. Come up here and mirror horizontally. And then I can go ahead and reposition this. And that'll be set up the way I wanna have that set up. Now I can do some more tweaking with design. Go ahead and resize this a little bit here, select everything. But you can see the way we've got this set up, we can change the colors any way we want to. If we want to go to a dark shirt with black, we can come up here and make this a much darker shirt, say it's a black shirt. Go ahead and select these elements, right click and change them to a white and get a really off the wall look with these monochrome effects on our different t-shirts. And then we can use this once again for upselling. You know, you can say to the customer, well, this is what you asked for, but we set this up with some cool effects and elements for you. And we can print these for you, but they'll cost you a dollar, dollar fifty cents a shirt. Which one looks better to you? 
Well, the majority of customers are going to say, well, the one with the flames and the cool effects looks a lot better. They're only thinking a dollar, dollar fifty a shirt. But if you're printing two or three hundred t-shirts, obviously you're going to make a lot more money. You're going to set the job up on press with white ink anyway for the original design. Now you've just got some effects built into it and you're putting some more cash flow into your bottom line. So this is just a quick tutorial on some cool monochrome effects and how we can set these things up in Corel Draw. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.